All right, so right now we're looking at a 2013 Mini Cooper Countryman S uh, 04, right? And we're looking at the flex plate. Some people will want to call this a flywheel, but this is an automatic and it actually has a flex plate, not a flywheel. Um, what we're looking at here is how you would lock the cams in place if you were doing a, a timing chain or something like that. And you want to lock them in place to stop it from rotating. So what we have over here, we've got this little tool that you use. I'm going to try to pull this out here, and this is what it looks like, okay? So you want to find this position right by your sump or oil pan right here. There'll be a hole up here. Sometimes it's covered by a little plate that you have to take off, but you kind of put that in there like so, all right? Now, this needs to sit flush, like all the way flat on the surface right here like so. When it's in that position, you know that it's actually good to go. If it's sticking out a little bit or pulled out a little bit like that, it's not in the right spot. And what it's doing on this side is that it's actually protruding by the flex plate over here. So you can kind of see that little nipple comes out right there. And that's what you're aiming for. If it's pulled out, it's not going to catch there, right? And that flywheel or flex plate is going to keep turning around so you're not actually locked in position. So I'm going to pop this guy off, hopefully without dropping it here, all right, and show you what we're aiming for. So this is the back of our flywheel right here. You can see there's a bunch of holes, right, and down here at the bottom there's one that's not lined up with the rest of them, and it's also not circular, it's kind of oblong, and that is the one that you're aiming for when you're doing this. So. On your engine, you would be spinning it right here, right? With your uh, pulley bolt or your harmonic balancer bolt, you're cranking that clockwise, trying to aim for that hole, while also putting pressure on this at the same time to get that locked in place, right? So that's what you're aiming for. When you start off, it's kind of like this, and then you're feeling, feeling, and then when it's in the right position, that drops in like that. And that's how you lock this in place. As far as the cylinders themselves, you'll look up here, they're kind of all lined up at the same position. So if you had the cover off, the cylinder head cover off, and you were watching the cylinders, this is the position you'd want them to be in, all four of them, right? That's the position you're going to want them to be in. They're all in a level position. Not top, dot, not top dead center, not bottom dead center. They're kind of like, I think they're right in the middle, all right? So that's the position you're aiming for. You could hit that position, by the way, and still not be aligned here. So you may have to turn that over one more time to actually get to that position. But anyways, you can do this with your cylinder head cover on. You just have to keep filling in there until this drops in. And it's not going to drop in by itself. You're going to have to put pressure on it, very light pressure, while it's turning around until you feel it kind of drop in like so. And that's how you know you've got it locked in place and you can begin the rest of your job or whatever it is that you're doing. So I'm hoping that was helpful to somebody who's out there trying to figure out what are you doing when you're feeling around for this thing. There'll be a bunch of other videos. I've got a playlist called Mini Cooper or Mini that I've got on here. And I'm going to start putting stuff in there as I'm stripping this engine down and building the rest of this Mini Cooper back up again. So hopefully that was helpful. Peace.